What's up there? If you're one of those people with low income, I have some good news for you. Below is the blueprint to help you optimize your money and to help you make more money. Because that's your problem. If you're low income, there's just not enough money to go around and we're going to work on addressing that. So go below and get into the how to start a service business bundle and you'll be well on your way to optimizing the money that you currently have, which is very important, and making more money. Links below. That, let's get into this video. Today we're gonna to talk about why it's so long for a business to make money and why hustles make money much, much faster. If this is your first time here, my name is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is teach you how to start businesses and everything that comes along with that, plus a nice hearty dose of hustle. Because you should hustle before you start your business, and I'll explain why. Be sure to watch this video from beginning to end. Also, do me a solid. Go below and get on the text notification list because YouTube doesn't send all my subscribers. Nope, they don't an alert that this is going down so, so you don't miss anything so you'll be able to get this stuff hot off the presses go ahead and get on that text notification list give me your number and say yes to the confirmation text so with that let's get into it one of the things that i teach is what i call the bilateral hustle this is creating a hustle to support yourself and building a long-term business model now, many people are not really familiar with this because it's either do this or either do that when you can do both. Let me explain. Let's say you are an eBayer, Amazon, um, Craigslist, whatever you have, and you get that business up to five, six thousand dollars a month. I think you should stop and do whatever you need to do to maintain that and take the rest of your time to build a long-term business that's in your name, that's your website, that's your property, and build an email list. Because this is what's gonna happen. eBay's changed the rules, Amazon has really changed the rule. They're banning a lot of people. And because these people only have a one-trick pony, they're in a world of hurt. They're in a situation where that Amazon business goes down, everything goes down. They can't pay their mortgage, can't pay the car notes, can't pay the credit cards. It's really, really bad. But it doesn't have to be because if you had a bilateral hustle, and let's say you, you crept up and you got your Amazon bigger than I suggested, and then Amazon cut you off, you just take that energy and move it over to your hustle, and the money should come in. So one of the things that you have to understand is a business that is yours takes time to build. It takes a lot of time to build. It um, is a situation where you got to create something that didn't exist before. eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, these apps, Uber, these hustles have been defined. Many people are like, well, that's Uber. I know what that is. I know what it looks like. But what you're missing is Uber has already built the infrastructure. Uber's already got the customers. Amazon's built the infrastructure. Amazon has the customers. So when you say that you have an Amazon business or an eBay business or an Uber business, you are a vendor. You don't have squat. Those are Uber's customers. Those are eBay customers and those are Amazon customers. Uh, uh, something that hits close to home until I get you on my text notification list or I get you on my email list, you're not my client. You're not my subscribers. You're YouTube subscribers. And it's like I said, once again, why they can pick and choose and refuse who gets to watch this video. Because you're not mine until I get you on an email list or a text notification list. Then you become mine. But until that moment, I'm just leasing you from YouTube. So this is the thing you have to understand. Building something that didn't exist for a long, long time or never is going to take time you got to get the customers you got to get the branding you got to get the marketing plan the sales plan there's so many things that you have to do and once again it ain't about being smart it ain't about being a genius but 
you can do it, but it's going to take three to four times longer than you think it should. Because I know you got the hustler porn. I know you got these guys out here. It's like, hey, look, you can be nobody. And next thing you know, this time next year, you can be making a million dollars a year on Amazon. Let me peep you to this game. Let me lift up that skirt. There are some people who are smart enough, who are plugged in enough, who have the work ethic enough that they can literally start from nothing and make a million dollars using Amazon and within mere months. There are people like that. And you know what we call these people? Unicorns. They're not typical. See, this is one of the big things that you see online. They will compare and contrast the atypical against the norm. Like, you know, this thing, and we've done the math. Like, you know, there's uh, billionaires and millionaires for all these women. Let's just take the black community, my favorite community. 46 million people, right? You literally have one point like you literally have 660,000 black men making more than $70,000 a year. Where all these ballers are. And when you get to the million dollar mark, well, I think it's a million black men making 70 and then the six, yeah, 660,000 660, that are making 100K. And then when you get to the million mark, that drops down to maybe 300 brothers 300,000 brothers I haven't done the math but I'm just saying so you hear this stuff and there was this uh, article well this video I was watching on Big Think about how you can't prove to people with facts that these things exist you have to appeal to them in a certain manner because what they're going to do is use these facts to try to rationalize and confirm what they already know versus opening their brain and letting new knowledge comes in. This is why, you know, I have my stance and there's so many people out here who want to convert me over because that's what they believe in their heart of hearts. But it's simply not true. It's just not true. But they don't want to develop the intellectual curiosity to delve deeper into the situation. Now, what you should do first is create a solid hustle your goal is to create a hustle that makes consistently four figures per month a thousand bucks a month six thousand a month whatever that's your first thing you need to do because that's going to teach you how to do some of the stuff that the business requires because this is another pitfall why businesses take so long the business is chewing up a lot of time it's chewing up a lot of resources resources being cash so now you have this situation where you're like this cash you know you start getting jealous of your business it's like this cash is getting everything it's getting all the good stuff i want some too so you start to take money out the business therefore crippling the business because the cash and resources are like bullets in your economic gun so you're taking some of these bullets to go off here to strip club, the grocery store. So you're like shooting over here, pew, 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 versus shooting in your mainline gun. This is where the hustle comes in. Once you get, you know, and like I said, your goal is to make enough money to sustain yourself. Your goal is not to ball out on your hustle. Like I said, you want to make three, four, five, six thousand, depending on where you are. Keep that, then take the rest of your energy and put it into this business because it's going to take so long for it to grow because there's so many things you have to do. And it ain't like you stupid. It ain't like you lazy. You're just unseasoned. You don't really understand the business process because you have all of these people out here who are like, you could do it in a few weeks. You could do it in a few months. And I keep showing you guys. In America, a country with 339 million people plus maybe probably 10 million illegals, and there's only like 11 million millionaires. And then when you get to the billion, multi-millionaires and the billionaires, there ain't even a few thousand. There's like six or 700 billionaires in America. And then when you get to like 50 million net worth, that ain't even a thousand people in America. So... And then, you know, you got the 9.9%, which has net worth of 1.5 up to 5 million. Most of that's up in their house. It's not like cash you can spend. I'm telling you. So you start yourself a good hustle. Keep your job while you figure out what you want to be when you grow up. And then 
you will drastically move yourself from average income. Let's say you make fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. You get a hustle that makes you two thousand, just two, two thousand dollars a month. That's twenty-four thousand dollars additional income on top of your fifty or sixty. That moves you. That moves you to seventy-five, or it moves you to eight. That puts you. I don't think. I don't think 11%, I, don't, I think you're in the top 10%. At 80-something 80, 80 thousand, I think you're in the top 10% of all the income earners around the world. Because most of the, the planet, most of the people are poor. So you, you got to get into that. So I'm just telling you. Uh, I'll give you a good example of what I'm talking about. Gloss, into the gloss. I want you to realize the name of this is into the gloss go to the blog and then go to glossier this is the product that derived from the blog she worked on this blog for one two three almost four years before she launched her product because she was doing market research and her market research was so tight that she went to a vc firm and they like stroked the check for a million bucks just like that because they knew that she was solid company opened up and i think the company is been in business four or five years. They're doing like 70, 80 million a year. I'm not sure. But into the gloss is the blog. And just go through it and look at what she's done. Because this is a real inform real business. It's a lifestyle business. It's cosmetics line. And it's a replenishable. So if they put out a banging product, right? Women gonna buy it month after month, get on auto ship, money, 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 money. And that's a real business. And it's a substantial business that she can sell or she can keep continuing to grow. Uh, I don't know about her debt load because that's another consideration because you, when you as a company give someone an equity round and that means that they, they say, hey, I got two million dollars. I'm going to give you two million. And for an exchange of that two million, you give them a percentage of your company. So each equity round, you lose ownership of the company. So, you know, that's something else to be thought about. All right. So let me get in these comments. What's up, Venturious One? Matt Gresham, Be Real, Douglas Jones. What's up? Al Gordon, Michael West, Western. <laughs> it takes well a shot please tell me why this is taking so long the first thing is you have been an employee most of your life so you're going to look at everything as an employee looks at stuff versus looking at it like a business owner looks at stuff that was a journey i was still counting my money on a 160 hour week for years. And then one day I was just like, this is ridiculous. And I just stopped doing it. Because the employee mindset is so invasive, it's so pervasive that it's gonna take you a few years just to get out of that. So that's one reason. What's up, Robbie Rob, Free T3, Cool Breeze. I know, ro hey, Roll Tide. Uh, we're probably not gonna run into a problem until I think we got the next five days of cake, or like cakewalks for some reason. What's up, Michael Mack? Thanks for the five bucks. Appreciate you. What's up, Derek Bailey, Johnny Walton, Christian, this dude Bakes, Erica Williams. Gonja, I watched that video two times. <laughs> All right, Johnny. Thanks for the $10 super chat. Still working on printing t-shirts on the weekend. I haven't given up yet. And th this is another point, and Johnny makes a very good point. It's hard for a reason. And part of the reason it's hard is you are going through a metamorphosis. You're transitioning from an average person, a person with a job, to a business owner. And I think being a business owner is kind of like, and I'm, I'm about to get a little carried away, but I don't care. It's kind of godlike because you have the ability to give people jobs. And I don't think a lot of people really understand how deep that is. When you can create an organization or a situation where you have people who can pay their mortgages for this exchange of their time and services to you and you give them that money that is deep <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right. What's up, Mentor Shelly? Hey, you know, we're going to keep going on because uh, I should tell you, and this is why you're only going to see me do more regular videos, is there's something hanky with the live streams because I can't even get into the regular live streams and I can do Google Hangouts. But like you said, it gets glitchy and it's not my computer and it's not my Internet. My Internet's rocking at almost uh, one terabyte or whatever they call it. I mean, I'll uh, screenshot it. Matter of fact, let me see what if even with this and typically if it keeps streaming, it, it will uh, level out on the playback. So be sure to come back and watch this. Let's see what 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 we rocking with. And this is with the live stream going on. I'm at I'm at 464 MB MB and that's and that's something else too. It's taken me a long time to upload static videos and I got like a super connection. So I don't know. YouTube's going through some growth changes. Matt Gershom. Most people don't like the nine to five daily ground. That's why it's so appealing to think you can start a business and quit your job so quick. I would agree with that. All right. Nope, not going to the classic. I got stuff to do. I'm not going anywhere for a few weeks. Free T3. I have seven figure multi level marketing earner friends that work 20 hours days, seven days a week, four to five years to get to that point. Now, that's a real comment and that's the real process. Thank you for sharing that free T3. Uh, resurrection of Kenneth Thompson. How do you break the employee mindset of getting income not on an hour or daily basis when it comes to transactions? Great question. This is why you keep your job. You start your hustle. Your hustle is going to groom you into that situation while you have the security of your job. Charles Smith, is it better to start a side hustle than these employees? No. No, 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 no. You start something that you can do. And this is something else. Even if you start something that will need employees, you need to create systems and processes that you can teach these employees so they do a great job when you're not around. What's up, Gene? So we will see. Well, there's some going on with the live streams. I don't know what it is because, like I said, you've noticed I started doing more static videos and I got some more that are coming. Uh, Venturous one, lots of personal development is needed to transfer in mind. I agree 100% because over at Disruptive Mail, I have one about the dominant male lifestyle and I get really deep into that. So be sure to check that out because the thing is that we all can be extremely successful. We can be more successful than our friends and our parents but that come that success comes at a cost and for essentially for two to four years maybe five you're not gonna have much of a personal life unless you have a wife or girlfriend who's gonna ride that with you and a lot of people don't hear that it's like I want to have a business that I can make a lot of money but it doesn't require a lot of my time and effort that's the pipe dream and there are stuff out there like that and there are people with the ability and aptitude to pull it off but that ain't most of us. Um, it's just not. Fimon, I have friends who have multi-million dollar companies that hustle 25 hours a day, eight days a week. It's, it's an incredible investment in time. Robbie Rob, my main problems are finding help, steady work, and balancing my job. But it's hard not quitting when I see money rolling in. Very tempting, but I don't think it's time to quit. And what well, part of it is, is a, it's a perspective thing. You feel that because you've done X and Y and Z, 
that that's your money when it is not it's the company's money and if you start looking at it that way and like a company's like a baby first few years baby can't really do that much you you must put in a lot of time and attention into that baby you must protect that baby you must clothe the baby you gotta do all this stuff and then the time this baby is like 16 17 they could do more and then by the time they're 25 they can they're, they're free they can do whatever they need to do and if you groom this baby correctly and you have a good relationship with this baby when you old they come visit and take care of you it's just like a baby Uh, Christian Alexander, I, I really don't think a lot of people understand how many hours you actually have to work in a day in order to build a business. It won't be a regular nine to five. And that's a good point because a lot of people, how many times have you heard this? I want to start a business so I have more free time. I start cracking up when I hear people say that. Uh, Patrick, I don't know. You're going to have to use Google for that. Johnny Walton, I'm 51 years old. My dream is at 60, 65. I won't have to struggle for money, so I have to start now. That's the key. I started YouTube when I was 42. And I got in the storage auction business when I was uh, 32, 33 or something like that. Thank you, Robbie Rob. That's real talk. She had definitely need to hear that. Cool Breeze, business only investor covers both active and passive income. Definitely. Now, here we get into a little salesmanship. So we're done with the video. So if you want to leave, y'all can go. I'm getting ready to start doing Salesmatic, uh, probably beginning of next month for Hustlers Kung Fu, well, for Hustler Undergrad, which is at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. And we're going to talk about the first topic is going to be audience. This sales course, and one of the things I'm doing with Hustler Undergrad, I'm not giving you what you want. I'm giving you what you need. Once again, I'm not giving you what you want. You want quick, fast hustle stuff. I've talked about that for years. I got several videos here on YouTube. Watch them. You can hustle. But what Hustler Undergrad is, is about people creating long-term sustainable businesses. I don't want you to have money now. I want you to have money the rest of your life. I want you to be able to, you you 65 and you sitting on your porch and you got 10, 15, 20 G's coming in while you're sitting on that porch. That's what I want. And to get that, you're going to have to start now. So once again, just to be clear, people who enroll in Hustle Undergrad, we're going to get into what you need. You need a firm foundation. A lot of stuff I talked about, uh, some people was like, hey, when we're getting to the meat, this is the meat. See, there's this thing of if I'm going to spend money, I need to get an immediate return. So I'm going to tell you. If you feel that way, do not join Hustler Undergrad because you're going to spend money for about two to three months. Well, if you come in now, we'll get into salesmatic and then we'll get into elegant hustles and stuff. But as you go through the art of holding, you're going to spend some weeks there getting your foundational stuff set up. And you ain't going to be making any money. But see, here's the thing. When you do it correctly the first time, you don't have to redo it. You don't have to do remedial stuff. Um, you have a lot of people who have an LLC, it's five, six, seven years old, and they're like, hey, can I turn that into my holding company? Yes, you can, but you're going to have to make administrative changes. You're going to have to stay on to the state because make sure they do it correctly. And if, if, unless that LLC is making you a lot of money, I would just start over. And we'll talk about that. And tonight, for those of you in Hustle Undergrad, we're going to be talking about how to create a holding company for real estate. Because how you create a holding company for real estate is different than how you create a regular holding company. Real estate has tremendous tax advantages. But you can't have a job with your real estate company. Because if you have a job and you don't satisfy the requirements of being a real estate investor, you got to have 750 hours a year into real estate, which is real easy to do because you typically need to look at 100 houses before you buy one. So that's going to take a few months. That's easy to do. And we're going to talk about the long game and how I'm going to organically fund this uh, LLC, which I filed almost two weeks ago and the state of Georgia is dragging its feet because it still ain't ready. So let me see. Um, P 
Pretty much, Robbie Rock. Superstar Customs, I don't like how my friends think I'm available to chat on phone all day and hang out just because I'm self-employed does not mean I'm not on their clock. Superstar Customs, man. Uh, what you have to do is just don't answer your phone. Uh, I have people who call me because they know that I'm home and stuff. And I had a, a female friend who was like, look, I called you three times. It's like I was working each time you call. I'm going to just tell you something. I am not going to get on the phone and yik yak with you when I could be making money. Are we understood? She's like, oh, good Lord. Why are you getting so rowdy? I'm like, look, I'm just letting you know because you're getting a little sassy because I ain't get back to you. There's a reason I ain't get back to you. I was busy. I was busy. And it, it's, it ain't nowhere near as bad as it used to be. But, man, I feel you because it, 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 that shit, it gets on your nerves. Oh, of interest, when I quit my job that I love to start my entrepreneurial journey a few years ago with a faith walk. Don't quit your job too soon and don't stay too long. That's good advice. Kubri's good book to learn sales or better to outsource. Neither. Once again, you are in Hustle Undergrad. We're going to talk about this because when you're starting a business and you're moving beyond the hustle, you got to find a market. Or an audience, and you got to find out how big your audience is. Is your audience growing or shrinking? You need to know this stuff so you can know how to deploy your marketing and your sales skills. So that's the first thing. And I'm gonna give you a great example of this. How many of you have seen YouTube channels just explode? One of the things that I've noticed of all the really popular YouTube channel, who do they cater to? Kids. I've PewDiePie, PewDiePie, whatever his name is, uh, the Share Brothers, all of these channels that are growing super, super quick. I mean, like going from nothing to a million in a year. Kids. This little kid who reviews toys, I think he makes seven million a year. Kids. So that's how important markets are. Uh, beauty bloggers or uh, beauty vloggers who used to make so much money before the field got saturated. So now you got to come at a different angle. But I'm going to tell you, and this is something that I've seen and no one really talked about until recently that uh, about 60, 70 percent of your YouTube success is what marketplace you're in. You can be a great YouTuber. You can make awesome videos. But if you're talking to people who don't care, who won't spend. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Barfield, Barfield, go watch how to start a service business. Now, here's the thing about service businesses. They're usually gritty. You get your hands dirty. You can set up a car wash one day a week somewhere on the weekend and make two to three to four hundred bucks in a day. Now, the question is, do you want to do that? And the question is, if you don't want to do that, then you ain't really serious about improving your hustle because with your hustle, you're going to have to do a lot of stuff that maybe you don't want to do. You're going to have to deal with situations you don't really want to situate because it's a hustle, but it's temporary. And Charles Smith, go to how to make uh, $1,500 to $2,500 bucks a month, how to start a service business. Oh, yeah, we're doing that, Matt. We're doing that. Sir Nicholas, most people get payroll checks. I sign payroll checks and bosses never have a day off. That would be true. What's up, Knights Insurance Services? That's interesting. Okay, Ventures One, thanks for the $2 super chat. Night Insurance Services. Insurance is a service business, kind of cause you selling non tangibles to, uh, so you got to have to be very specific market. But more millionaires are made in the insurance industry than any other in this industry. I would agree. Residuals are amazing. Like, you know, if you bust your hump for five years, you can have your million dollar book of business. All right. So, for those of you who want to, enhance your hustle and your business model go below 
enroll in Hustler Undergrad. Uh, give me like 24 hours to bring you in. I'll set you up and I'll send you login information and know that we're about half, more than halfway through with the art of holding and then Cash Max is going to roll totally differently. Totally differently. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Hustle hard, be productive, and be sure to get on that text notification list. I'm serious. See you guys in the next